Hello everybody, my name is JJ Menu and I'm an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. When learning a new programming language, the first program is always called Hello World and it just prints the string on the screen. For instance, in Python, a popular programming language that many people appreciate for its simplicity, just writing print hello world on one line of code is enough to create a first program. Things are more complicated for embedded programming. You need to know the C language and architecture of the microcontroller. The equivalent of hello world program in embedded programming is to turn on and off an LED. Microcontroller vendors created a lot of great tools to generate automatically headers, middleware, and APIs, pinout generation, and so on. For this tutorial, we use PSO Creator from Cypress because Cypress offers free of charge an integrated IDE, and the user interface is great for beginners. The eval board is the CY8CKit-BLE coming with PSOC BLE that integrates an ARM M0 core, very common on the market, and the BLE stack that we'll use in future tutorials. The project in Cypress IDE has three main windows. A window for C code, a window to show the pinout of the microcontrollers or other internal configurations like clock, and finally, a design window to show the components we want to program. The eval board comes with an RGB LED that are connecting to the following pins. Red on port 2, pin 6, green on port 3, pin 6, and blue on port 3, pin 7. There is also a push button on port 2, pin 7. In the top design window from the component catalog, just drag a digital output pin and double click. A user interface allows to configure entirely the pin. For instance, the drive mode, the initial drive state, the name of the pin. Click apply and OK. As said previously, the red LED is on port 2 pin 6. We select this pin. Now, instead of writing manually a program, we click on the button Build and some code and APIs will be automatically generated. You can see the folder red, name of the pin. Now, just the program the device and the red LED is on. If you want to turn on the green LED, instead of the red LED, just change the pin out. The green LED is on port 3, pin 6. Now, let's program to turn on the LED when pushing the switch button. Let's drag a digital input pin from the component catalog, drive mode as resistive pull-up, and let's check hardware connection as we'll connect it to the output pin to turn on the LED. The red pin must have a hardware connection too. Let's confirm the switch pin on port 2, pin 7. Build the project program the device, and now, when the switch is pushed, the LED is on. We made all that stuff with, without writing one line of code. A basic program allows turning on and off the LED. Let's remove the components and the hardware check for the red pin. Let's open the pin user interface and click on the datasheet button. This opens the datasheet of the pin component in the application programming interface and function chapter, the list functions generated by the PSOC creator is listed. Pin write function writes a value to a pin. Let's go to the C main program. As the name of the pin is read, the function is read write. Zero to program the pin at zero or at low. CY delay 500 gives a delay of 500 milliseconds. Then we program the pin to high a delay of 500 milliseconds again. As you can see, CI delay is part of the standard library generated by PSOC Creator. Let's make a build, program the device, and the LED is flashing with a 1 Hz frequency. We created our first program and are ready to move on with more fun programming and it will continue to be as easy as this one. 